news about the coronavirus outbreak continues to dominate the headlines and millions of people in the United States and around the world are all being asked to self-quarantine, it has become more important than ever, more important than ever, guys, to pay as much attention to our mental health as we do our physical health. This is real. And now, guys, celebrity Cardi B would like to say a few words about coronavirus. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! I'm telling you, shit is real! Shit is getting real! Woo! It's definitely real, Cardi. Mental health is often a taboo topic, but on the real, it's something that needs to be discussed, especially right now with all that's going on in the world. The important thing is to know your feelings matter and you are not alone. You are not alone. We are all going through this right now. There's no denying that things are crazy out here right now. There's a lot of fear and panic. People are hoarding toilet paper. They're hoarding water, hand sanitizer, Lysol, all other types of household supplies. I mean, people have been laid off or they've had their hours cut. So there's both uh, economic anxiety and also mental anxiety with people being afraid, just being afraid of getting affected, or maybe having a friend, a family member, a loved one become ill and die. So I get that. I'm afraid of that myself. I know that I've been stressed as I've went to several different stores. I've been unable to get some of the items that I've been looking for. I've been wiping everything down in my house, like religiously wiping things down in my house, my car. I mean, the way that I personally think has totally changed. Catching the virus is a very scary thought. And although statistics show the majority of people will recover, you never really know how your body's gonna react to it. I mean, you never know. The fact is there's no vaccine right now, which makes things even worse. Pandemics such as the one we're currently dealing with often ignite fear, anxiety, erratic behavior. And when fear takes control, both our nervous and emotional part of our brain go into overdrive. And when this happens, it can lead to impulsive behavior, panic, feeling out of control emotionally. And if you've been feeling anxious, frustrated, angry, or just downright confused lately, know that you're not alone. We are all in this together. So I want to offer five suggestions that may help you during this stressful time and that I've decided to implement for myself in my personal life. So the first thing, number one, is to cut back on news and social media intake. I would really encourage everyone to limit their exposure to the news and to customize their social media feeds. Now, while it's important to keep up with the latest updates from the CDC and know what's going on in the world, in order to keep fear and panic in check, I recommend limiting your news consumption to about five to 10 minutes per day and also set a similar time limit for checking your social media accounts. Also, if someone you follow is sharing posts that are inaccurate or negative, just put them on timeout. You don't need more fake news stirring up fear. Number two, get information from only reliable sources. There's a lot of misinformation and fake news in the world. Now, some legitimate and reliable sources of COVID-19 related news and updates include the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, the World Health Organization, the John Hopkins Coronavirus Resource Center, and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. Number three, remember to keep things in perspective. Take a deep breath and remind yourself, most people who contract COVID-19 will only experience mild symptoms. The best thing you can do for you and your family is to take all the recommended and necessary precautions. That includes washing your hands and practicing social distancing. Number four, Try to keep yourself busy. Engage in activities that distract you from current events. Maybe go for a walk, a jog at the park, around the block, exercise at home. Physical activity helps ease anxiety and improves your mood by producing stress-relieving hormones called endorphins. You can also watch your favorite movies, TV shows, pick up a new hobby, check out some new books, maybe sign up for an online class and learn a new skill. I mean, to be honest, this could be a great time to invest in yourself, invest in yourself. You can never go wrong betting on yourself. Remember, you are number one. Number five, make time for self-care. When stress sets in, it's so easy for us to let go of our positive self-care practices and prioritize other activities. Now, these other activities are important, 
but they are things like work and household chores. While they are important, your own mental health, your mental health and well-being is just as important. So don't forget to make time for yourself every day. Just do something that makes you feel good inside. Whether it's journaling, reading a book, playing with your pet, listening to music, find a way to relax and unwind. Don't forget to eat regularly and stay healthy as possible and get your beauty sleep. I know for myself, I've been using this time to reflect on my life and where I'm at and what I would like to achieve this next year. For myself, I wanna be as productive as possible. I've been using this time in the house to focus on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to come up with new content and ideas for you guys. I'm taking time to reanalyze my finances to see what adjustments I can make to grow my wealth and maybe make some cutbacks for possible and even my real estate. Although there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding real estate investing at the moment, I always feel like you should always look for opportunity because you never know. You never know when it's gonna present itself. I decided for myself that the Rona is not gonna stop my bag, okay? It's not stopping my bag and me from living my best life and moving forward with my goals and aspirations. In the past two weeks, I was able to identify a good real estate opportunity. And while I admit it was a bit scary and I've been hesitant with all this going on right now, with the help of my realtor and property manager, I did my due diligence to mitigate any possible issues or fears that I had regarding moving forward and i've decided to open escrow on a new rental investment property i would highly encourage everyone to use this time at home to really reflect on your life and where you would like to go always remember you are in control of your life your destiny and although we cannot completely control everything that's going on right now in the world we do have complete control on how we react on how we respond to it I really hope you found value in today's content. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really goes a long way in helping to support and grow the channel. Also, I'd really like to know what have been some of the things that you've been struggling with? What have been your challenges at this time while you're at home on quarantine? What types of fears and anxiety have you had, have you experienced, and how are you dealing with it? Like, what are you doing to get over that? Please leave your feedback in the comments section below. And as always, I, Joe, also want to know what you know. Be safe out there and have a great day.